Ugh, what's up guys? Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Glad so many of you are loving Monday's video. I taught a uh, move, the first move that I've ever come up with. If you guys want to learn some sleight of hand, check out that video I posted Monday. But today we are looking at a puzzle. This puzzle is very finely handcrafted by a guy by the name of Kagan Sound. Now he's been on my radar for quite a while. I've seen his puzzles pop up in my feeds. People have been sending them to me. A few of his videos went viral, I, I believe on Instagram or Facebook. Very, very cool stuff, very intricate uh, handmade puzzles and very unique as well. Kagan has released four limited edition puzzles. They are puzzle boxes that have a maze and the thing that makes this unique is that there is a pin and you have to maneuver the maze around the pin in order to open the box. There are four different boxes with three different levels. There's a level eight, two level nines, and a level 10. Today we'll be looking at the level nine cherry maze. The reason I don't want to uh, do the honeycomb puzzle is because it's very hard to capture on camera and it'll be a, a very boring for you guys because there are hidden compartments within the honeycomb and you can't really see the pin maneuver through that well. That being said, the level nine is extremely challenging as well and we'll be looking at that and hopefully you guys can uh, follow along. Again, there are only 250 of each of these boxes made. I left the link below. They are quite pricey because they are handmade, but for serious puzzlers out there and collectors, um, this might be a great find. And if you can't afford it and just wanna see how it's done, stay tuned, because that's what we're getting into right now. So let's solve the cherry maze puzzle. So the pin is here on the end. There are hidden holes that lead through the maze because if you follow the path of the maze, I'll, you obviously quickly realize that it doesn't go anywhere. So, so if I maneuver this through, Rotate, there you go. And then I see another one. This is really fun to do. There's the other one. So it wants me to go down here, right, to follow this down. But I think it, I think I actually have to go up here and through this little hole because that other one's a decoy, so watch. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go all the way around. And now I'm going to go up here. And now I'm going to turn it and go through here. Ooh, look at this view. Ah, there we go. Look at that view. All right, let's lock this into place here. Let's get everything to stop shaking. Ooh, that's much better. You guys are getting a really good view now. There's an opening here. No. A dead end, my friends. Wait, unless I come back here. And that is definitely the beginning. Okay. There are two ways I can get to the beginning. There's from down here and then there's from up here as well. Let's go this way again.
the entrances always seem to be at the end of something. They never seem to be in the middle for some reason. Okay, hold on, we got, we got a fork in the road here. So if we follow this path down, it brings us to this one. And is there an opening anywhere on this one? Okay, it seems to bring me to a bit of a dead end. Yes, definitely a dead end. See, if I follow it down here, I can come here, here, and then here, but then I'm trapped here because that's a dead end. So the alternative, would be to bring it here. Well, that's a dead end as well. Okay, so I guess I have to bring it up there. It can be a little bit rigid from time to time. You kind of get stuck. You kind of have to like just shimmy it. I think I'm gonna go this way. Nope, and that brings me back to the beginning. Okay, let's bring the light in a little bit more. By the way, timer right now is at this. Just let you know. So this was the beginning. We go again. See, now I'm stuck right there. There's no exit anywhere. And I'm stuck there. Not in the middle. Oh, so close. Once you get it to the middle, everything rotates, so it should just be like a 180 turn. Now this is gonna bring me back to the beginning. again back to the beginning we shall try a different strategy then. oh it's the same place I came from and that one doesn't go what the heck there's got to be like some hidden entrance somewhere well there is one there is one oh, watch this I can get back to there oh, I thought there was one how do I get there there's a hidden entrance right there there's a hidden entrance as you can see right there. Hmm, very hard to see. Of course there's hidden entrances. So this hidden entrance that's right there that you probably won't be able to see. Yeah, it's right there. You can kind of make it out. It actually goes under this. So I think that there is a maze within the maze. So in the walls of the maze are tunnels, I believe. And that's what the secret here is, and that's why it's so tricky. 
And that's why I keep getting stumped. So I gotta find an entrance there and I see one. Just can't really get to it right now. So I have to figure out a way that I can make it to that particular part of the puzzle. Well, if there's an entrance there, there has to be an exit. So I gotta look for another hidden compartment somewhere. Oh man, this is difficult. I'm repeating myself, I know this, but there is a secret entrance right there. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna mark that with a little marker. So right where I mark that, right there, there's a secret entrance that goes in. Oh crap. This beautiful work of art puzzle. Awesome, okay. You know what, we'll fix that in post. <laughs> so there's the secret entrance. There's no, there seems to be an entrance to the secret passage right there. Okay, so. How do I get there? Can I get there? I can get there. I think I can get there. Oh, see, it wants to make you go straight through, but watch this. Boom. Oh, so tricky. And now it's a matter of getting it to the middle, which we are going to do. And once it's in the middle, I bet you can rotate the whole thing. Oh, it just opens. <gasps> that is so freaking cool. And I will also put my initials right here. Dude, that is awesome. All right, let's put this back. Uh, 28 minutes. So I'm wondering if to reset it, if I can just put everything sort of like back to the beginning. So if I have, this was kind of here. Right? Can I just do that? Or do I have to navigate it back? I might have to navigate it back, yeah. Because everything's so offset. Secret passage. Man, that's so cool. Oops. I know that when I'm here, it brings me back to the beginning because that right there is like 52. And I just keep remembering that 52 for some reason. I know it'll eventually bring me home. Boom. There you go, there you have it. Wow, that is really cool. So obviously you probably got some secret passages in this one. Uh, we've got some other ones here as well. If you guys wanna check them out, I'll leave the link where you can purchase these, but there's also this one, which is really cool. And the mazes are all different, and I guess they all have a little bit of a surprise in them. And you also have this one. So you got quite a few different ones you can toy around with, with different solutions, including the hardest one of all, which is this honeycomb. But kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to watch because you don't really see anything. But there you go. Boom. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it took me quite a while to figure out that there was a hidden passage in this puzzle. I'm glad that I stuck it out and I'm glad that we eventually found it. I regret uh, putting the permanent marker on this very expensive puzzle, but it is mine, so I don't care. I'm giving it away, not selling it. I'm going to keep it forever and it's a bit of a memento, okay? Well, we'll just leave it at that. Anyways guys, if you did enjoy this puzzle, I would really appreciate it if you left a like, uh, comment below what you thought, and uh, subscribe if you're new here. Guys, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Oh, Thank you.